I like that chord. Let's turn it into a drone preset in Voloco Producer. Here's what it sounds like. Hey, it's Patrick Flanagan, audio developer and CEO at Voloco. And before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is for people who have some basic understanding of music theory. I'm going to discuss scales and scale steps and how to build chords. And if you don't know what any of those words mean, you will be a little bit lost in this video. Um, if that's the case, you can always just grab the preset file that I used to make the sounds that you just heard. There's a link to it in the description of the YouTube video, so just click on that, download it, import it into Voloco Producer, and you'll be able to make the same kind of sounds that I just made. Uh, for the rest of you who want to understand how this stuff works, let's get started. Okay, here's how I did this. First, I copied the chord from the TikTok video onto staff paper, except because I didn't have staff paper, I wrote a staff on an index card and, uh, and then copied it here. And we're in E flat. This is the exact same chord as you see in the video. Then I decided that we're going to use E flat as a reference point because that's the tonic of the key. And I'm going to label each of the notes in the chord with, uh, with a number that describes how far away they are from the tonic pitch E flat. So E flat is zero scale steps from itself. G is two scale steps from E flat. Uh, C is five scale steps from E flat. D is six. F is eight. And then down below, um, B flat is minus three scale steps from E flat. And A flat is negative four scale steps from E flat. So I've got all the notes in the chord labeled with the numbers, with labeled with numbers that describe how many scale steps they are from the tonic pitch. Now I'm going to take those numbers and enter them into the harmonization tab in Voloco Producer. And a good place to start is with the hard tune preset. That gives us a single voice with pitch correction and that's it. Next we need to uh, select the correct number of voices. Now the number of notes in the chord is seven, um, but I want to add an additional voice that's, that follows the pitch of my voice so that there's still this, you know, you can have some sense of melody even while the, the drone is, is occurring. So I'm gonna select um, eight voices overall. That gives us uh, seven voices for the chord plus one voice that's gonna follow the pitch of the input. We'll keep the same key, which is E flat right there. And I went with the just intonation major scale because I like how it sounds. Of course, you could use the conventional equal tempered major scale. Next, we'll go over to the harmony tab and start entering the harmony values. So let's think about scale degree number one first. So in E flat, of course, that is E flat. So when I sing in E flat, we want the seven voices that produce, produce the voice, uh, the notes of the chord to produce exactly those notes. Um, and I think I'll have the top notes, uh, we'll, ha we'll have the top voices here and in the, in the interface represent the top notes in the chord. So voice one is going to produce that, the, the highest note in the chord, which is an F. And voice two will produce a D, voice three a C, and so on. Which means that voice five is the voice that will produce the E flat when I sing an E flat. So let's think about this. If I sing an E flat, um, we want voice five to produce an E flat, which means this sh e voice five should be zero scale steps from the note that I sing. So we're gonna leave voice five at zero. Voice four is gonna produce the G, which is two scale steps up from E flat. Voice three is going to produce the C, which is five scale steps up from E flat. These are exactly the values that I, uh, I wrote down on my index card. Okay, now I've got all of the values entered for the chord when I sing the tonic pitch, scale degree one, E flat. What about the other scale degrees? What, what happens when I sing an F, for example? Well, this is supposed to be a drone preset. So the idea is whatever I sing, voices one through seven are gonna produce the same thing. So 
That means that as we move across the rows, we should decrement these values. So for example, if I sing in F, voice five is going to transpose that pitch down a one scale step to E flat. And if I sing a G, voice five is going to transpose that pitch down two scale steps to E flat. So basically what's gonna happen here is as I go across the row, in each voice, we're just going to decrement all of the values. Move down one as we go across the row. And I will enter all this data and we'll come back when that's done. Well, I, I suspect there's gonna be a problem because I have a low voice and you can see that for some of these notes, we're gonna be transposing down more than an octave. I think that's gonna produce a chord that's too low if I sing in my lower register. It might sound fine if I sing in a falsetto or in the highest, higher range of my voice. For the lower notes, I don't think this is gonna to sound too good. Let's try it out. I mean, yes, I was right. Don't love how that sounds. It's too muddy down in that register. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to transpose all of these values an octave up. So we go octave up, octave up, octave up, octave up, octave up, octave up, octave up. Let's try that again. That's much better. As I mentioned down here in voice eight, uh, we're just leaving that as all zeros because voice eight is going to follow the pitch of my voice. So that's gonna provide the sense of melody and voices one through seven are the drone. Now, what I'm gonna to do to spice things up a little bit and clean up the sound uh, in voices, let's say two through seven, I'm gonna turn down the unvoiced gain quite a bit and the high frequency gain because that material is passed through from the dry signal and if you make copies of it and add them together, it just, it stacks up, which we don't want. It's gonna raise the noise floor quite a bit. So I turn this stuff down a lot. And I recommend that you do the same in any preset that has many voices. You don't want your noise floor to stack up. One other thing I'm gonna do is uh, voice eight, instead of using signs plus noise, I'm going to use P sola. It's, uh, it's just a different algorithm, so it gives it a slightly different flavor. I want voice eight to pop out more and, um, and using a different resynthesis uh, algorithm will help that. I'm also gonna turn it up a little bit like this, just to make it pop out of the texture. Let's hear how that sounds. You can adjust that to taste depending on how much you want that eighth voice to emerge from the drone texture. And then to, to sort of, to make things even more, I don't know, exciting, in voices one through eight, I'm gonna start playing around with uh, some of the spectral processing that we have here. So I might say, oh, let's do just um, odd numbered harmonics for voice one. And we're going to do some crazy spectral EQ stuff with uh, in, in the EQ motion section. And then maybe we'll add some spectral panning in uh, right there, perfect. And then you can do the same thing for voice, all the other voices. And that's what I did uh, in the preset that I demoed earlier. That's how I built a drone preset in Voloco Producer based on a chord I heard on TikTok. I think you could use the same approach to build a drone preset around pretty much any chord. And if you've done that and posted a song or a track somewhere that does that, please tag one of our social media profiles or link to it in a, a comment on this video below because we'd love to hear it. I'm always curious to hear what, uh, what people do with the plugin. If you really liked this preset that I just designed, there's a link to it in the description of this video. Just click on that, download it, and then import it into Voloco Producer and then you can use it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and you can't wait to hear more uh, Voloco Producer sound design tips. Thanks for watching.